My friend nostalgia, I found you When I heard the sweet sound of the ones who I once knew so well In a voice memo from years ago We were laughing about some nonsense Oh how I miss those friends Circumstances made it so that I'll never see their faces Never on the internet Where I'll never really know What's going on But I miss my And then I guess I could check in Once in a while
Getting all of the night moonwalking And with the view she could see her building Try to tell her I know I feel it Keep me flowing when I'm on my back Slow me down when I'm living fast later I tried to film this haul earlier but my camera died in the middle so now I'm doing my haul of what I got at Barnes & Noble today I'm so excited okay first of all I picked up When in Rome by Sarah Adams I've never read a Sarah Adams book before but my friend my best friend Jennifer has been hyping her up lately and saying she really enjoys the romances these are new adult but clean not spicy romances so totally up my alley this is supposed to be a take on the film Roman Holiday which I surprisingly have not watched given that I love classic films but yeah it's supposed to be a take on that and then her new book Practice Makes Perfect is supposed to be the companion novel to this but my friend Jennifer said you have to read this first so I picked this up and then I was like oh man I really need something for the buy one get one half off deal and like they didn't have Practice Makes Perfect so when I was checking out I saw this book it's called Notes on Your Sudden Disappearance by Alison S. Pack. I think is how you pronounce it and this basically just got my attention because it's about a girl who's interested in a guy and it says it opens in the early 90s and I just love stories that are set in the 90s early 2000s like that was enough to sell me on it so yeah don't really know too much about it but I do love this cover and I'm very excited okay then I picked up a book that I truly never ever thought that I would buy but the girl at Barnes & Noble and the cashier did such a good job of convincing me and that's Good Girl Complex by L. Kennedy which is basically a new adult small town vibes like a coastal town I think and set in college and I love stories set in college and we don't have enough of those I don't really know much else other than that I think she's a bit of a people pleaser he's more of a bad boy type I'm really excited to delve into this like I never really thought that I would read L. Kennedy but honestly the employees 
They're doing a good job. They deserve raises. Definitely excited to read that and see what I think. I also bought Hello, Goodbye, and Everything in Between by Jennifer E. Smith. This is a young adult romance. There is a film on Netflix. This is the movie tie-in edition. And I did enjoy the film, but Jen Jennifer's actually said that the book is way better and I'm excited to delve in and see. I've read another Jennifer E. Smith before called the book before called This Is What Happy Looks Like and that one I did enjoy so I'm excited for this. You know, see, read another book from her if I enjoyed that one. Why shouldn't I enjoy this one? And this one is about a couple that basically they decide to date for senior year and then to break up when senior year is over. And of course things do not go according to plan and it's more messy than they thought it would be. And then I have Throwback by Marine Goo. I actually did get an arc of this from NetGalley, which I'm so, so, so grateful for. But because I'm such a big fan of Marine Goo's work and I always need to buy her books in hardcover when they come out, like I just love her work so much. I just had to get this. This is called Throwback and it's a YA and it's about a girl who goes back in time and ends up like going to high school with her mom. Like when her mom was in high school, I think it's set in the 90s. As you know, I love, I love stories set in the 90s. We have a little theme going on here, so I'm really, really, really excited about this. Yeah, those are the books that I'm going to be talking about today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I usually do more talking vlogs where I like go to Barnes & Noble and like film everything and like talk out loud to the camera, but I wanted to do a different style today with a little montage. Have this cute little montage up to show you guys the remodel of the Barnes & Noble in LA, the, the main one, and I really hope that you enjoyed it. I definitely love the the model, the remodel. Let me know what you think of it, especially if you've like been to that Barnes & Noble or a different one, or if you've seen my other vlogs, you can see like what it used to look like and what it looks like now. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've read any of these books. Of course, don't leave any spoilers down below. And yeah, feel free to subscribe, turn on notifications, comment, like the video if you haven't. And I'll leave my social media down below in the description. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!